Hi friends, welcome back to HMD's YouTube channel. I'm Garish Jerome, Marine Instructor. There are several important factors that need to be taken care of for efficient running of the main engine on the ship. And one of them is the crankcase of the ship's engine. The crankcase is one such part of the main engine, which contains the most sensitive components of the main engine. Before doing crankcase inspection, are you confused as to what safety rules has to be followed? If yes, then you have come to the right place. In this video, we will learn the most important safety points that need to be considered for safe entry into the crankcase of a main engine. First, let us see what is a crankcase and why do you have to enter into a crankcase. Yes, the crankcase of the engine is the area where the crankshaft of the engine is laid. Also, it is the area where the low boil required for smooth operation of the engine is stored and it is an enclosed space. Several accidents have been reported in the past while making an entry into the crankcase of the main engine. Okay. Now let us see why you have to enter into the crankcase. You will have to make an entry into the crankcase for measuring the crankshaft deflections or for general crankcase inspection. Now let us see how to make an entry into this crankcase following all the safety procedures. First step is to obtain an immobilization permit from the port authority, stating that our engine won't be available for manually. This permit is usually taken when any maintenance job is carried out on main engine. The next step is to allow the engine to cool down once you have reached the port. Also inform the duty officer at bridge when you commence your procedures for crankcase entry. Now you have to isolate the main engine systems, especially the starting air and low boil systems. If you are having Separate low boil systems for crosshair and camshaft, those has to be isolated first before the main low boil system. Not only isolation, but also follow the locking and tagging procedures to ensure no one operates the system by mistake. Also in case the turning gear interlock as an additional safety. A toolbox meeting has to be conducted wherein you have to brief the job to the persons involved. Also carry out a detailed risk assessment to eliminate all possible risk in the job. As we all know, crankcase of a main engine is an enclosed space. So you will have to prepare an enclosed permit and follow all the safeties mentioned in the permit. After cooling down of the engine for about half an hour and confirming the systems have been isolated, the crankcase doors can be opened and ventilation arrangements can be put in place and ensure the oxygen levels are about 20.9% before making an entry. Before making an entry into the crankcase, ensure that you are wearing all the required PPEs for the job, which includes your safety helmet, a disposable boiler suit which is always recommended, a goggles, a hand lab, anti-slipping pads or gum boots, safety harness, protective gloves, etc. Also confirm that your pockets are free of any loose objects as there is great risk in object being dropped inside the crankcase. So be very cautious as it can destroy your engine. It's always recommended to account the items being carried inside and later upon exit also confirm the same is taken back. Ensure proper communication is maintained especially when the person is inside and when you are turning the engine using a turning gear. There have been several accidents in the past while doing this job. Be extra vigilant and ensure proper communication between the person inside and the remote operator. The standby person should not leave his station until the job is completed. Avoid slip, trips and fall. As we all know the crankcase is an oily place. You have to be very cautious while stepping inside. Spread rags or gunny bags outside the entry door and clean the area before you step in, so that you don't trip and fall. Also while stepping outside, ensure your boots are clean, so that you don't carry over the oil. Apart from this, all safety measures mentioned in your SMS manual has to be followed. Let safety be your major concern while working on critical missionaries. Please subscribe to our channel and press on the bell button by the side to receive more marine videos as soon as we post them.
Thank you.